Global Entrepreneurship Boot Camps hosted by the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, or MIT, consist of just one week of instruction and activities, but cost 180,000 Taiwan dollars for each attendee. Despite the high cost, thousands of aspiring young entrepreneurs apply every year to the camps, which accept just 2% of them. Two Taiwanese managed to snag spots on a recent camp in Australia. What did they do? And what did they learn from it all? Our Sunday special report. Li Wei is a student in the School of Forestry and Resource Conservation at National Taiwan University. At 23 years old, Li became the first actively enrolled student from Taiwan to be selected to attend an MIT Global Entrepreneurship Boot Camp, which he's now taking an online course to prepare for. MIT has always pressed the idea that you need to know your motivation for being an entrepreneur. My previous experience as an entrepreneur helped me understand that wrong choices and decisions are often made. But if you have a more systematic approach, that will be helpful, whether as an entrepreneur or in the process of building a company. In 2015, Lee started his own business, which quickly folded. The experience convinced him of the importance of studying entrepreneurial skills in a more structured setting. The fifth MIT Global Entrepreneurship Bootcamp at Queensland University of Technology in Australia was held in March, with 120 students throwing themselves into a series of intensive courses. The boot camp's methods of instruction are unlike traditional approaches to education. A lecturer at the camp, Erdin Beshimov, believes technology has brought huge changes to education. The boot camps will change the educational systems worldwide. Uh, we've discovered a way of delivering education that is dramatically superior to the way we do things today. After having taught online courses to thousands of people from every country in the world, after teaching in our boot camps, I no longer believe in traditional long duration educational programs. It is far more effective to learn online for the majority of the time and then get together for short intensive boot camps. Bezhermov claims that the boot camp is a totally unique type of intensive program in entrepreneurship. As a three-year-long MIT course that's been shrunk down to just a week, the boot camp is designed to let attending students quickly grasp the steps involved in starting and growing a business. The attendees at this boot camp have come from over 30 different countries. Aside from Li Wei, there's another student from Taiwan here. Xie Heng En already has five years of working experience, but despite his well-paid job at a foreign investment bank, he still wants to do his own thing. There's very few opportunities in life like this one where you can be together with so many young people from around the world with such similar ways of thinking and such high hopes. Gathered together in one place, we're stimulating one another to think differently. MIT instructors encourage the groups at the boot camps to include members with different yet complementary backgrounds and talents. But when there's friction over a particular idea, managing conflict becomes even more important. If the group gets stuck, the group leader who's on rotational duty that day is responsible for responding and finding a solution. Our focus is very important. We don't have a lot of resources. Yeah. Uh, you've got to pick a segment. Why is your focus on the young, technology savvy? Classes start every morning at 7 o'clock and run straight until 10 o'clock at night. Students also frequently take time to discuss their business ideas among themselves in what is an accelerated experience designed by MIT to push attendees' limits. On average, we're sleeping about two to three hours a night. At the final presentations, attendees explain the problems they encountered, the solutions they adopted, and their overall goals. The team with the best marks was a collaboration between Australians and Canadians on mobile farming, integrating agriculture, and technology to help resolve grain shortages. MIT itself is conducting research into global grain shortages, which will become the topic of a future global entrepreneurship boot camp. When we talk about food, it's really, it goes from agriculture to distribution. So it really touches every aspect. Um, you know, it starts with um, not just the, the crops that are being grown, but also the people who are working on them, 
It's talking about the land. So when we look at food, it's really, it really, it's, um, it could be almost anything. In September 2017, MIT will host its Beyond Food Bootcamp in Taipei and has selected 70 applicants to attend. Well, I expect that uh, many young people in Taipei will get inspired by innovation and entrepreneurship. They will get to know...